Today, I want to talk about Phantom Drain, specifically with Sentry Mode. So today I'm wearing the Starman shirt in honor of Dragon liftoff and dock with the space station that just happened. If you haven't been watching the news, subscribe to the SpaceX channel. Some pretty amazing stuff that's happened over the last couple of days. Uh, in any case, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, something called Phantom Drain. Now, if you're not familiar with Phantom Drain, Phantom Drain is the drain on your battery of your vehicle that occurs when your car is not being used. So when it's parked, when it goes into deep sleep, there is a trickle of battery being used to keep the car accessible via your app. And when you walk up to unlock the car and so forth, uh, that's gonna use a very small portion of the battery. Now, uh, one question that came up a lot is with sentry mode that's constantly recording and watching and anyone who walks by is triggering it. How does that have an effect on Phantom Drain? And we're gonna take a look at that today. I, I've gotta run to a meetup slash collaboration. You'll see, but let's talk about it. Now before heading out, I do want to call out that this is not a scientific test. Uh, this is just a usage of looking at what the battery was when I parked and when I came back to the car, measuring time, uh, but to help kind of back everything that I was doing on a very non-scientific way, uh, I did utilize an app. Uh, the app that I utilized was called Stats. Uh, it's available uh, in the App Store, you can download it. And what Stats does is it gives you a lot of access to a lot of data of your car. Now, before talking about everything that the Stats app can do, I know a lot of people are gonna talk about security and safety. Well, for iPhone, all of the passwords and stuff that you use, including what you use to log into the Stats app, is encrypted in a keychain that's stored locally on your device. So none of that information is shared. Now, jumping into what the Stats app can do for you, I'm gonna highlight a, a couple of things. I'm just gonna actually read it directly off of here, uh, right, the Stats app. Uh, can give you notifications on when your car is locked, if you've left the air running and so forth. Uh, but some of the really cool things are Siri shortcuts. Now you can use Siri to arm sentry mode, which is actually really cool, as opposed to going through the app and doing it. Um, you can see how efficient your phantom drain is, which is what we're gonna look at in this test. Um, you can look at the percentage of users on each firmware, kind of like what Tesla Fi, the information you get from there. Um, you know, observe the impact of temperature on your efficiency and just a whole lot of data and a whole lot of uh, access to more that you can do and learn about your car. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link down below as to uh, where to find the Stats app. Now, let's jump into the data. All right, so the first thing that I wanted to look at is two separate tests. One was done at my place of work where I turned on sentry mode. I left it on for six hours. Uh, and what I saw was I lost about seven miles of range. So that comes out to be about 1.17 miles per hour range loss with sentry mode on. The second test was done back at my house. It was for a shorter period of time, 3.7 hours, but total loss was 0.43 miles. And that's like one tenth of a mile per hour range loss. So as you can see, sentry mode it does use up a lot more range. Now to put that into perspective, if you're losing about 1.17 miles per hour range loss, that means in a given day, you're losing about 30 miles. Uh, so I would estimate that if you're going on a trip for let's say 10 days, you're probably gonna kill your entire battery leaving sentry mode on. Now you'll still be able to get into your car and unlock it because that is using your 12 volt battery which is in your frunk. But it's good to know that if you're going on a seven day trip and you wanna activate sentry mode, go ahead. But you'll have footage of what's going on 
but obviously you're not anywhere to react if an alarm were to go off. All right, so as we can see, uh, phantom drain is will always be there, but it uses very little phantom drain when you're normally parked, but when you have sentry mode, it uses a lot more battery usage. Oh my goodness, are you Tesla Raj? Hey, hey, you guys it's Tesla, oh my goodness, am I on oh, camera? Not, oh shit, Tesla, Tesla Raj! Raj. Oh, hey guys. Oh, what's up, dude? <laughs> hey. I'm a huge fan. Oh, thank you. Seriously. I am thank a you. fan. I'm oh, a subscriber. You. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Can we be in wow. Your I'm on camera. Sure, sure, sure. Awesome. Get on okay, in. Cool. We're right, talking hey. about Phantom Drain. I can't help you with that. Yes, I, you can. Okay. In fact, they both can. If you don't know who these people are, uh, Joy, this is Tesla Joy. She's got a YouTube channel. I'll put the link down below. And this is Arash. Arash is the founder and creator of ScentWedge. Talk to them about it yeah. multiple times. Massive support, I appreciate it. Yes, uh, air fresheners for your Model 3. They're seamless, they work great. So check them out, put a link to that down below. Guys, the question is, is phantom drain. So, Joey, you travel a lot. How do you park your car and charge and what kind of degradation in the battery do you see? Great question. So just to set a background, I live in a condo where my parking spot is all the way outside of my building where I cannot install a charger. So, I have to leave my car uncovered for several days when I travel. And I've been tracking this since last summer. Last summer when I went on a vacation for nine days, it only drained 4%, which I was really impressed by. But I think it was because I had my windows tinted and I also had a sunshade that I put up on my uh, windshield. So I think that minimized the phantom drain when I was gone. However, in January, I produced a video on this. I was gone for 10 days to Asia. And during that time, the temperature dipped a little bit. I am in LA, so forgive me, it's not as cold, but it did went down to 40s and 30s overnight. And 10 days, over that 10 days period of time, my phantom drain was 18% overall. So on the average, 1.8% per day, which is not so bad. I am traveling again, as you can see, and this time, as Raj had mentioned, I am doing another test. That is to turn on sentry mode and see how much my battery will drain when I return. So I'll find out when I get home. What about you, Raj? Yeah, I, um, I don't pay attention to battery drain. I, I charge at home every night. Uh, I drive a lot, and whenever I need to, I just use a supercharger. And I don't have a limited supercharging, unfortunately, but it's not that bad. Yeah, so that means the, the 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 range loss is so little that you don't even notice it. And so yeah, I mean, I, I just, not that I don't notice. I mean, I just I've never paid attention to it. What about when Sentry mode? I don't have Sentry mode yet. Right. Not everyone has Sentry mode yet. So if you don't have Sentry mode, this is to understand that when you get it, what to expect from Sentry mode, and to know that when you're activating Sentry mode you will have a significant change in battery loss uh, depending on how long you leave it active for. Cool, awesome. It's good to know. Hey, Great. thanks again, but you, seriously, you guys can't record here. Okay. okay, this is a public property. Yeah, I work here on the weekend. Oh, okay. Thanks, thanks guys, nice thanks, meeting you. Thanks, Rosh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so hopefully you found that video super helpful and understand the effects that Sentry Mode has on your vehicle. Uh, when you leave it running. And that's probably the answer to why Tesla did not make it such that sentry mode stays active at all times and instead made it such that you, the user, needs to activate it whenever you want to use it. Uh, it gives you more control and allows you not to experience such a drain on your battery. Uh, speaking of, I'm just parked my car. I need to activate sentry Activate sentry mode. that easy. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you don't already. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you guys next time. Remember to fuel on electricity.